This is the Holy Bible. Holy means it's like no other book. And you know the Bible wasn't always a book. A long, long time ago, it was stories around the campfire in the desert. And then it was stories around people's tables in their homes. But then people started to write the stories down on pieces of soft leather. And then after a while, they invented paper and they started to write the stories down on pieces of paper. But then a machine called a printing press was invented and the machine could print the stories on lots of pieces of paper and put all the pieces of paper together in a book. And that's how the Bible became a book. Today, there's all kinds of Bibles. You might have a Bible at home that looks like this. Or you might have a Bible at home that looks like this, a picture. Bible. And some people have their Bibles on their, can have a Bible on their computer or even a Bible on their cell phone. Now you can open the front door of the Bible or you can open the back door of the Bible. But in this room, we like to open both doors and let all the stories out. We let them out all over this room. Now today, you can hear God's stories in a video or in a movie. But when we tell the stories here in this place, we like to tell them in the old, old way, gathered in a circle together. Did you know that the stories in this Bible were written especially for you? God, the one who made you, wanted you to know how very special you are and how very much he loves you. And so he breathed all of these words that he wanted to share with you into people, and the people wrote them down to make the Bible. So this special book, book that is like no other book in the whole world, is a book especially for you from your Father God. And you know, you can read this Bible any time. You can look at it and read it any time. When we share a story in this place from the Bible, you can read it afterwards on your own inside the book. Or you can have someone read it to you. To help find the stories in the Bible, in this place, we make a bookmark. Do you remember the story of Jesus being baptized? We heard the story here in this place. Do you remember? And then afterwards, we drew a picture of the story and put it on a stiff piece of paper and then found the story inside the book of the Bible. There it is, Jesus being baptized. And we put our bookmark right here and close it up so that in any time that we want to, we can go back and just open it up to the place where Jesus was baptized and we can read the story for ourselves. Perhaps this is something you would like to do after hearing our stories.
I wonder what part of the Bible do you like the best? I wonder what part is most important. I wonder what part is especially for you.